guys so much for tuning in to another video. Tabitha here, and I'm bringing you guys a makeup tutorial on this look I have going on today from the new Jackie Ina collaboration that she did with e.l.f. This is her clay eyeshadow palette called J Glow, and this is the packaging that it came in. Sorry for the glare. Six dollars on e.l.f.'s website. The first, the first go around, trying to get it, it was sold out. And the second time, I got alerted by email. And I got it. So it was only six dollars. This is these are all the colors here. This is all of the colors in the palette. I want to do a quick hand swatch to show you guys. So when I ordered this from Elf's website, it seems that every month they're gonna be offering some type of discount code where you can get something for free. When I went on there a couple weeks ago and first bought this product, I got the Elf blush. You you had a choice between the Elf blush or some elf mascara I chose the blush so I ended up getting this blush and it's called twinkle pink and I do have it on now ended up giving me two so you got two blushes for free so this one I'll probably save just for a random giveaway I also will be using this new real techniques brush remember you guys and I got this from Octoly remember you guys Octoly is a free website for creators to try out products for free I have a referral link down below so this is the brush that I will be using for the elf blush okay so first I'm gonna go in and prime my lids with the LA colors concealer and fawn and using my real technique sponge just gonna go ahead and blend that out going in with this gold highlighter color in the palette and I'm going to use it for a brow bone highlight I wanted something something subtle to start out with and then depending on how the rest of the eye look goes then I will add more but just starting off with a little bit for now Then we're going to use the tape method. I like that crisp line. Going in with the first color here. And I'm going to use it as a crease color. I'm just trying my best to make sure I blend it out really good. Blend, blend, blend. Going in with the next color, that brown. And putting it right on top of that. Focusing it just in the crease as well. And going in with this teal color you guys can see this color is very pigmented I love it it's a great color just packing it on the lid going back in with the brown and just trying to blend everything on out I should have went back in with the the teal color again just to to brighten it up a little bit more but I wasn't thinking going back in with that gold color and I just wanted to define the brow bone a little bit more going in with this silvery color here I'm just using it in the inner corners I probably should have used a different brush kind of you know intensify the color a little bit more but yeah that's okay I'm going to use a wet and wild cream liner and just go ahead and this this dries really really fast so you really got to work quickly but overall I really actually really like this product and that's a Sonia Kashuk brush that I'm using taking the tape off and I'm gonna just clean up any fallout underneath the eye as well using the CoverGirl Flame Out Mascara and I think I just did one or two coats so I'm gonna use the e.l.f. I did all the rest of my face off camera and I'm gonna use this Real Techniques brush as you guys can see it's really really soft and it's got you know the Real Techniques logo all over it I got a little makeup on the, the handle but that's okay 
but this is the color twinkle pink so this is my first time using the blush as well as this real techniques brush I really did like the brush I actually like this color too of the blush I feel like it gave it it, it was really like soft and subtle it wasn't too much so I didn't want to really intensify it too much but I actually did really like this blush and I really do like that real techniques brush as well it's really soft and it's just really perfect for blush so I really liked it I'm just trying to blend it in yeah going back into the palette I'm going to use that highlighter for my face so I'm just gonna put a little bit in the areas where you would normally highlight and I'm gonna intensify it a little bit more with the wet n wild crown of canopy highlighter and this is the new Avon I forgot the color but I'll put it in the description box and I set my face with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus. And that's it, you guys. Um, this look, it, it wasn't too bad. I really liked it. It was something, it wasn't too much. Um, yeah, overall, I do like the palette. I'm probably going to have to play, with, play around with the palette a little bit more. Again, I wish I would have intensified the lid color a little bit more but overall I am very happy with it again you guys I'm no makeup artist I'm a makeup enthusiast I like makeup I like playing around with it so I hope that you guys enjoy thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate it and I'll check you guys out in the next one bye